Because race fans, this is what you saved your lunch money for. Your field to the green. Field off and running, stalking, going to try to take off of the race lead. Right now has it over Brady Bacon. Bacon working to the outside of a turn number two. Both drivers in each other's tire tracks off at turn number four. Who's going to lead line number one? It will be the banded ag number five. Stalking going to lead the way. Bacon still right there in second. Kevin Thomas Jr. looking top shelf, looking for third. As they work onto the back stretch, he's got to run. Does he have enough to get second? And it turns three and four. He's been operating higher than anybody over the last couple of nights here at Ocala. Over in turns three and four, and now it's going to pay off for him. Up into second rolls, Kevin Thomas Jr. He'll look for the top spot to the back straightaway. You've got a new leader in this one. Kevin Thomas Jr. up into the lead. The driver that's following him, well, that's Logan Seavey. Seavey in the 57 has not finished outside of the podium the entire run of the Winter Dirt Games. And now looking for the lead and turns one and two. Throws the slide. He's got it for a moment. Kevin Thomas back to his inside. Kevin Thomas Jr. look to the inside, trying to get it back. Logan Seavey going to take the Abacus race at number 57. Up top shelf in three and four. He's going to come around and lead as they complete lap number four. Throwing wide off the exit of turn number four. Grant stalking now in a good battle. Grant going to throw the slide to turns one and two. He'll have the position over the five. So Grant up into the top five in the NOS Energy. Top industry is number four. Stalking going to fall back to six. Jaden Rogers in seven. Jason Pursley in eighth. Mitchell Moles in ninth. Matt Westfall. Still your top ten as Bacon. Right there on Kevin Thomas Jr. Just waiting for him to make a mistake. In the bottom line, the preferred line. Off of turn number four. Bacon up to the cushion trying to carry momentum around. He's going to diamond it off and down to the bottom. Here comes Bacon for second. 69 up into the runner of spots. Evie having a hard time getting by the slower car. Bacon is right there. Can he capitalize? Able to clear the 84 Harris now. Bacon to the outside. CV still working middle to bottom. Bacon going to diamond it off down to the bottom. Can't get by the 84. Lap traffic right now playing to the favor of CV. Oh, look out. Contact over in turns three and four as they were trying to avoid a spun car facing the wrong way in the fourth turn. Set to find out a four lap dash to the finish. He'll buy the NOS Energy restart can over in turn number four. High side to low. Here comes the 15 with a run. Looking for second. Bacon going to have to beat him to the punch into turns three and four and try to protect the bottom. Bacon going to light the high to the front straightway. Here comes the 15. C.J. Leary going to clear him into turns one and two. Bacon now. He's going to try that line. Goes the outside as we've got problems at 21. Rolling to a stop here on the front straightway. Three to go. Can he hold on? C.J. Leary all but glued to that back bumper. The restart going to look to the outside now. Brings it across the racetrack onto the back bumper. The 57. Does he force the issue to the inside to look for the race lead? Yes, he does. C.J. Leary looking for the top spot. They're going to light the highs of the front straightway, and you've got a new leader with two to go. C.J. Leary takes over the top spot. Logan Seavey back to second. Brady Bacon in third. Kevin Thomas Jr. Chase Stock in your top five. Leary now pulling away as they'll come around this time to the wave of the white flag. We've got one to go on this one. Pulls off the move through turns one and two to diamond it across the racetrack. Forces the issue into turns three and four as we've got him slow to the front straightway. Green light is still on. The 33M is still rolling, and the checker flag is dropping for C.J. Leary in 15. And up out of the top of his race car, race fans, let him hear it. C.J. Leary, your winner here tonight at Ocala. Thank you so much, Brian. I would say I did not have that one on my bingo card. Such interesting decision-making having to be done there in the final laps of that race as everybody was searching for something they could not find except for C.J. Leary. On those final laps, it seemed like the 15X was the only car that could find grip in order to be able to not only catch somebody but to pass somebody. What were you finding that nobody else was? Well, I think it just kind of paid off there not being the leader at the end or, you know, actually third or fourth, you know, I, I was able to keep our momentum up around the top and find some moisture. Those guys kept shortening the track up looking for the rubber. Um, this 15X, the BG Motorsports team uh, has just been been good all week. You know, we had a little bit of off night last night, but we've been so fast, so good. I guess I just needed, uh, I just needed you to show up and uh, give me some good luck. Uh, but uh, man, this is awesome to, to pick up a win down here. Uh, it's been since 2019 since we've been in victory lane. 
Uh, maybe this is uh, a little sign for what's to come uh, throughout the whole season. You know, we had a really good year in 19, so um, we've, we've kicked off good. Super happy, super happy for my guys, my dad, Zach, uh, Doug, and Brock. Without those guys, this wouldn't be possible. You know, i got to thank uh, Valvoline, uh, Hornback Concrete, uh, Lugs, Gray Auto, Highsmith Guns. Uh, man, everybody, one way for, you know, sticking with me. I thought we were having an engine issue yesterday, so we went through the whole thing and diagnosed it and couldn't find anything wrong with it, so we just kept running it. Uh, this is probably the last night on this rebuild, so uh, shout-out to those guys for giving me great power. Joe Devin for building me a hell of a race car. This thing's really good. Brad Wilson at Lucky 7 for giving me some good good shocks, man. Uh, just can't, can't thank everyone. This is a, a full circle deal here. I set it up good, drove it good, and we're uh, going home with a trophy. When you talk about having a more frustrating night last night, and we're really we're at the same racetrack, even though it can be so wildly different, what would you say was the most integral difference tonight that made you more successful? Huh, I think the racetrack finally got slick where we can actually do some racing. You know, I know the fans came to see some good racing. The guys at home on flow wanted to see some good racing. It just was, it was too fast the last couple of nights, and uh, I think it finally widened out. The repeat races were good. The feature was good. Um, I hate to see some rubber there at the end, but there's still some good racing. Uh, hats off to Logan and Brady. You know, they raced, raced really hard there at the end. And uh, I felt like once the rubber came, it was going to be really hard to pass. But actually, it, it stayed pretty good. So uh, thanks all the fans for coming. And uh, we'll see you guys in Indiana. CJ Leary picks up his first win of the 2024 USAC Amsoil National Sprint Car season here at the Winter Dirt Games at Ocala Speedway.